Okay, so there we go. That's enough uh, pre-videos for today. Oh my god. So, Bananasaurus Rex has been playing um, Boshi for 15 hours straight. How tall am I? Um, like 6'2"-ish? Okay, so um, we're going to begin Final Fantasy VI T Edition. Today is going to be the grind day. The long-awaited grind day. Oh man, I got so many windows open right now. Okay, here we go. Okay. Let me, let me pull the chat over so I can see you guys. I always have to put the chat over here first. Okay, so today is... Uh, okay, so we're doing a Final Fantasy VI T Edition. We've been playing this for what feels like a thousand hours. Um, we're almost like 200 episodes on YouTube of this. <laughs> Anyway, so today is, um, I've been putting it off for a long time, but we really, really need to start grinding. Um, like, all these quests are coming up right now. We finished most of them. Some of them through, like, just sheer brute force, and, like, some of the boss battles take an hour or so. But the upcoming boss battles are going to be extremely, extremely difficult. Some of these boss battles that I've been doing are, you know, like an hour long, but these ones are going to be insane if I don't start uh, grinding. So... Today is grind day, and tomorrow might be grind day too, depending on how things go. So all day today I'm going to be playing, um, going to be playing this hack. I'm going to just be grinding and getting my levels up, getting some magic, and just doing all of that. I'm going to take a few breaks throughout the day, like for lunch and for dinner. And I don't know, like I might not uh, continue after dinner. I might want to just uh, chat with Po Trader, who is still at PAX. Um, you know, I haven't seen her in like a while so you know we need to catch up on things so it'd be nice to chat with her on the phone so I don't know what, what'll happen but anyway today is grind day so we will be uh, I was talking about it a lot so I might be Skyping in with people you know people might Skype in and we'll just chat you know there's nothing nothing of a major significance is gonna happen today in the game we're just gonna go around find grind spots and all that so um, if you're expecting something crazy awesome to happen today in the game it's probably not gonna happen Okay, so actually, before we begin, I want to show Potrader is up at PAX, like I said, and she's having all kinds of crazy adventures, and including hanging out with Star Trek cosplayers. <laughs> so, she posted that yesterday, she was so excited. When I saw it on my phone, I thought that was Bill Trennan, I was like, no way, she meant Bill Trennan, but no, it's just a, looks like a, an Enterprise cosplayer. Maybe, uh, maybe Bill Trennan is an Enterprise cosplayer too. Okay, um, so, so I've talked about Skyping and all that. I've only Skyped once in my life. It almost sounds like it's some crazy like drug or something. Man, I've only done Skype once. But, so, like, the last time I did it, it was all kinds of technical issues and I had to get things working and the setup and everything, so I don't know what I'm doing. If you guys are interested in um, adding me to Skype, um, here's my Skype name, I think, in the chat. Hello Kasumi Blue, hello everybody if I missed uh, people coming in. So today is Sky, uh, Skype Grind Day. So I'm going to end, like I'm only play for like an hour and a half at first, then we'll have, I'm going to have lunch and take a, you know, a little lunch break and then I'll come back. So, okay, so I don't know, I have a couple people that are Skypeable. Yeah, so I don't know how this is going to work. This is going to be like a real crazy deal. Okay, so um, very quickly I want to point out, uh, today I programmed a little quick thing that will show me how... Okay, I'm going to uncurse the cursed shield, and to do that I have to fight 255 battles. Um, so to keep track of that, I made a little thing right there. So we have uh, 255 battles left with the cursed shield. I'm almost like, would you guys be angry? Would you guys be angry if I, uh... Okay, so Luigi Blood is adding me on Skype. I don't know how to add people. Okay, here we go. Um, add to contacts. Okay. Okay, so Luigi Blood, I'm probably gonna forget, but it looks like you have a France icon. Okay, so... Would you guys be angry if I hacked it so I don't have to do 255 battles? You know, because I can do that super quickly. Or should I just, like... Be a man and do it the man way. 
yeah, if you guys want to add me on Skype, go ahead. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Like, who's going to talk in what order? <laughs> Maybe if you guys um, send me a thousand dollars, then I'll let you have priority. You would not be angry at all. Alright, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. So I'm just going to do it as it is. Do it the man way. Do it the man which way. Okay, so um, before I... Before I do any Skyping, I do want to do this, because I want to show people that the good old desert, good old grind desert, isn't uh, an option. Okay, somebody else added me, I think. Zachary Freed. So I'm not sure who Zachary Freed is. Who's that? Add two contacts. Alright, so I'm not sure who people are, so... Oh, you're Confuzzled Dude? Oh man, it's gonna be hard to keep track of all these real-life names. That's... I have such a hard name, or a hard uh, thing, you know, I don't have... I'm not a good name dude, basically. <laughs> okay, so let me show you that this, um, this is the Grind Desert. There's a lot of you uh, Final Fantasy VI people probably know. This is where you probably did a lot of your grinding. And I don't think this is a... Uh... Oh, so we got Ian... Ian Golbez. Ian Gobert. So add you. Okay. Um... Oh, I forgot I was playing a game for a second. <laughs> yeah, I don't know much about Skype and I don't... Like, actually Skype's layout is so crazy. It it took me forever. NK was talking to me earlier today. It took me forever to figure out actually where she was talking to me. I could hear she was saying stuff at me. Oh, I have my Moogle charm on. Duh. Okay, so I'm just going to show you really quickly that this is not a good grinding spot. <laughs> yeah, so any, any of you guys can add me. Go ahead, yeah. Oh, so here's Cactar, it looks like. Cactar. So we get three magic points from this, and we'll get a lot of gill, it looks like. Um, yeah, so like, we can't really get much from these guys. So you don't really get um, any magic points. <laughs> I need a drink of water already, I mean vodka. Vodka first thing in the morning, guys. Okay, so um, let me get to a like a, a, a better place to so I don't die. I feel like I'm gonna die if I do this right now. Oh man, I just realized it's gonna be hard to Skype and play, but uh, we'll figure something out. What do we against ice? All right, so. Yep, Skype day is going to be a little tough. I might die quite a bit, but that's okay. <laughs> It'll make it more fun, right? Yep, so it looks like I'm already getting dead. Oh, crap. Yeah, so this desert, it doesn't, like, actually you have to use the chainsaw, right? So we're gonna get a lot of uh, gill from these guys. So I guess if you want to grind gill, this is a good place. Look at that. Okay, so there's also one of those big zone eater things that is really deadly, so... So actually what I'm going to do is go to the Fanatics Tower and just like go to the top four for now. Um, yeah, let's just do this for now. I'm going to put the Cursed Shield on Mog. This might be a bad idea. And 
put a ribbon on him. Okay, so I'm gonna go. So, how am I supposed to do this, you guys? How should I? Okay, so, how should I do this Skyping thing? Like, who wants to Skype in? You know, like, how can I? How should I choose? Ian, Ian Gobert. SPF? Who's SPF? He gets nine nine nine. Okay. Add the contacts. Okay, so the first Skypey person to um, to type in um, pig butt in the chat, I'll Skype with you. So we can have multiple people Skype at once. Actually, that's something I forgot to set up, so let me... I need to put this up. I need to set this up real quick. Oops. I need to like make a little thing that says who we're Skyping with here. Um, so who am I Skyping with? Who's, who said? Zunar said pig butt. Okay. Alright, Zunar, so uh, let me... Oh crap, which one are you, Zunar? Zunar, which one are you? Who, what's your name? <laughs> oh man, this is going to be a rough day, I think. <laughs> Zachary? No. BB Gang Zombie? Cody Wilson? Bel that's Belthasar. Are you even one of my contacts? All right, so I can't find Zunar. If you if you're added to me, Zunar, I don't know your name. So who's next? <laughs> um, Besk. Okay, we're doing Besk. Okay, let me. You're Ian Gobert, right? Okay. I don't, let me, I might have to change the audio on this. Hey, Mado. Hey, uh, Besk. How are you? <laughs> I am doing okay. I'm having trouble with all of this crazy stuff. Oh, sorry. So I kind of expected you to have a Russian accent. <laughs> no, that's not too, at all. Oh, that's too bad. Can you do one? No. Or, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, not at all, actually. Okay, so you guys in the chat, can you hear me okay? Like, can you hear Besk okay? Should I turn it up or down? Wait, they can hear me? I'm trying to I'm trying to do the audios, but for some reason the game went down. Why did the game go down? Uh, because you're on Skype. Oh, crap. I thought I'd turn that off. Skype tends to hijack audio. Yeah, I told it not to. What I understand. Mm. Darn you. All right. the, the people demand silly accents, but you can't have a silly accent. I I have a very accent neutral voice. So where are, where are you, um, Besk? I am in Virginia. In Virginia. But I wasn't born here. So okay. I don't have a southern accent at all. So you are into Russian. What you you're from Virginia, but you like Russian? Yes. How did my you? My mom side of the family, like a couple generations ago, is from. The Belarus and oh, okay. Ukraine area, so and it's just interesting. So okay, so um, okay, you both sound good. I'm using Windows 8, so I told it not to change the volume. I'm not. You're not <laughs> okay. So let's go to the Fanatics Tower, and so we're talking with uh, not Zunar, <laughs> you fraud, Besk. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I have to keep up with the chat, so keep up with chat, keep up with best, keep up with the game. <laughs> it's okay. 
This is all new to me, so... So, Besk, right. uh, have you played Final Fantasy VI before? I have. I, I remember playing it uh, way back in the day, actually. We, I remember renting it from uh, a, a rental place, like a video rental place called Speedy's way back in the day. It was like this mom and pop chain, and we would rent it every weekend. Um, I don't think we even actually got as far as going to Kefka's Tower to get to the world of Bruin, but um, it's been about maybe 20 years now. Oh man, so, so you're, you're right up there with me with, this is the, you're starting to feel a little old, like this is such yeah, a retro, a bit, yeah. such a actually, retro tomorrow game. tomorrow is my birthday, so I feel oh. even old. <laughs> so you're probably around my age then. My age uh, is, uh, are you going to say your age? <laughs> yeah, I'm 32. Okay, yeah, so I'm a little older than you. But, uh, yeah, I have good memories about this, and actually, I remember Earthbound really, really well. I, I loved renting <laughs> that. That was, like, the game for me to rent. And, um, I don't think I beat that either, but it was just so quirky and so funny. I, I loved it. And I loved the strategy guide. I think the strategy oh, guide yeah. Was the best part. So did you, have to, did you have to rent Earthbound, you said? I did have to rent Earthbound. And it came with a guide? No, I think I had a friend who had the guide oh, okay. and the game, but um, we still had to rent it. <laughs> and uh, I love this. The scratch and sniff stickers were like the best. Yeah, part, I think I really like those. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know what that smell was. Yeah, I thought it was like burning. I thought it was just burning. <laughs> oh, it like it really smelled like oregano, I guess. Yeah, and I think that that smell was like really overpowered the rest of the tomato smell but I mean you could you could smell that too yep so let's see I'm in here now so this is where the secret area is and if we just walk around actually yeah let's just put whatever okay so this way I'm gonna do a lot of my magic grinding in here Sweet. okay so um yeah I don't know what to talk about on Skype yeah so let me put this on you okay, guys uh... There you go. <laughs> I've got to keep up the chat too. So somebody says they feel old but young, even though they're almost 18. Oh Wait man. Wait till you're 32. <laughs> Wait till you're in your 30s. Then yeah. You feel conflicted like that, I guess. Yeah, I feel young and old at the same time. I guess that's what just Waffle Y Bread said. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't. The thing is, is like I don't feel 32. Like I still feel like I'm like in my mid 20s. Um, I think that's because I graduated school when I was 26, so like it. School is still I'm, fresh. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not like people my age who have been out of school for 10 plus years or something like that. You know. But, yeah, I'm, I you know, and I was just talking to my best friend actually at dinner about school, and he actually asked me, would I go back to college if I could. Yeah, I think I would go back. <laughs> I've I mean, been if thinking I could about go it. Travel back in time. Yeah, it was, it was pretty fun. So, have you played any? Um, you played Final Fantasy VI. Actually, did you? Yep. You said you uh, used to rent it a lot. Did you have that problem where you would rent it and then you'd have to rent it again, but then like uh, your save would be gone? Yes. Is that a thing? That was totally a thing. That seems and like it's. I mean, a th that was, <laughs> for like all of the RPGs we had, like I would, I played Final Fantasy IV that way. Um, my best friend had a Sega Genesis, so when we would rent Fantasy Star 4 or 2, same deal, you know. Mm -hmm. we, we didn't own any RPGs, actually. We owned action games, and I wish I could have convinced my parents to let us buy some RPGs. But, we didn't. So have you played any like uh, newer versions? Have you played uh, the Game Boy Advance? Have you played the PlayStation version of this? Uh, Final Fantasy VI? Yeah. Um, yeah, actually my best friend actually had a uh, PlayStation well before I did. Like um, The same friend that had the Sega Genesis. And he actually had uh, the Anthology and Origins versions. So we would play Chrono Trigger and six that way. So this is pretty fun, actually. I'm kind of jealous of all these people who played all the versions. <laughs> uh -huh, but I'm laughing now, I guess. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm jealous that you can understand 
this because this looks amazing and I wish I wish I under I wish I could understand so you can on. play you can play all those Russian um, bootleg games <laughs> I can play games on the Dendi but my Russian is actually pretty poor um, I learn it I'm learning it by reading record labels and record note liner notes and stuff like that so it's Pretty difficult. So you did you um, learn Russian at all, like in college or anything? No, and I've been wanting to go back to college and do that. Um, it's just the time. Oh yeah. It's, uh, working full time, um, and I don't know when my local university. Well, you actually the local university does offer Russian classes, so oh, that's it's cool. not like out of the possibility realm of path possibility. It's just finding time to actually do it. I mean, I, you know, I probably should do it. I mean, just as an interest kind of thing. Oh, man. <laughs> so, I'm having trouble, like, keeping up with uh, all of the chats at once, so should we have, like, multiple people Skyping? Do you think that would be a good idea, or do you think one, one at a time, you guys? I think? I, I think multiple people would be good, but that's just me. Um, okay. Okay, yeah. Because I do, I do a Google Hangout with about five other people okay so this is like Saturday. totally new to me like i don't know what to what's normal you guys is it normal to have multiple skypes well you wouldn't start one in one new uh instance you could just invite yeah group. so who wants to who wants to join us you guys who wants to join besk and mado oh i forgot there's chat lag there's no lag with you <laughs> no i forgot no. Actually, he doesn't need to learn anything. What am I doing? Okay. Gogo, I think, is my like favorite character, just because it's so he. They are so weird. I guess I don't know, and their portrait always confused me. Yeah, I still like, can't make sense of it. The I can see his eyes now, but like in the like back in the day, I thought like the Those headdress kind yeah. of thing, like his face. <laughs> And it was like this crazy animal kind of thing. And of course they didn't know the gender because of that. But and I think it's cooler that way. I don't know. Like, the eye, like his real eyes or his mouth or something like that. So um, people are adding me on Skype, but because Skype is so new to me, I don't know. Or, okay, so who's adding me? Um, Scott Mendenko, who's that? Maybe they have a Russian. <laughs> okay, so is that mascot? Okay, well, we'll add um, Scott Mendenko to the chat, and this is mascot, I believe. I hope. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm, I might just be making it worse for me. <laughs> mascot. I hope. Is mascot even in the chat? All right. I don't know how this works, so maybe that won't work. So we are currently talking with Besk. Grind day is going very slowly. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> it's definitely a grind to get to the grind. Okay, so uh, for now we're just with Besk. So, right. so how did you first find uh, this channel? Um, I think DN or... Uh, Mr. Seiko. Mr. Seiko. Um, yeah, she is also uh, in ROMHacking.net. Like, okay. DN is actually one of my mods in the chat room, and so is she. Okay. And um, so one of those two actually mentioned that you were um, doing the, the Mother 3 live translation with Potrader. And I was like, I'm gonna watch this because it was. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool because I had never. I've actually never played um, Mother Three at all. So because um, I don't know. I, I just don't know why I haven't played it. But I haven't played it in a while. But um... okay. So I'm inviting Jay Rokujushi, and um, he is a very cool dude. I don't know if he's around. I don't know if he's around. Hello. 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 Hello, everybody. Wait, how many people do we have in here now? 
<laughs> if you are in, okay, so we got J Rokuju, J Rokujushi, and Besk. Hooray! <laughs> Let's call me J64. Okay, J64. So J64 is um, you probably know him. Actually, you've done a lot. How's the volume on this? Is the game too loud? I think it's fine. Okay. Yeah, um, I don't hear the game over Skype here, and I uh, quit listening to the stream because you don't I want would the, hear the echo. Long... Okay, so um, J Roku or J64, you might know him. He does a lot of music. Uh, I think he does actually a lot of stuff for a screw attack, right? Uh, not recently. Okay. Oh, wait, I shouldn't come out here. Um, and he also does, uh, he used to at least do a lot of uh, Final Fantasy VI, like, um, you know, just like remixes and stuff like that. Yeah, a long time ago I had a plan to take the entire soundtrack and enhance it with better sample libraries and stuff. Never got around to completely finishing it, but I did do... Uh, Fairly decent amount of tracks from it. So if you have a link handy, then um, can you post it in the chat? Or oh, wait, you're not in the chat, are you? I am in the chat, but... Um, you're, on a, you're on a phone? Or I'm not sure if it's even still around anywhere. Okay. Actually, and I've got stuff since I made those, so I'd probably want to just redo it from scratch again. Was that like overclock? Overclock.net or org or whatever it was? Was your stuff on there? Uh, OC remix the stuff that I did six never went up there because it was basically just note for note the same, just with better sounds and stuff. Mm. Oh, okay. So, I actually I have your old music somewhere still because I really liked it. So there's somewhere in my MP3 <laughs> folders. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, so I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying badly. So. What do people usually talk about on these uh, Skype chats on on stream? Is there like something that people go to, like talk about, or do they just like talk every five minutes? I think it's a stream of consciousness kind of thing. Okay. I don't think there's necessarily something you have to talk about. So I'm very um, impressed at uh, streamers that can do this. You know, they'll do like um, Spelunky Run, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I, I'm having a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we are not uh, distracting you from the game because I mean I don't want to have you die. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, but... talk to me. <laughs> so I feel like I'm leveling up. This is like a new challenge. If I do bad, what I'll do is tomorrow I'll do a grind day without Skype. But for now, it seems fun. I'm talking to you guys. It seems cool. Yeah, it's pretty fun to do it this way. I'm, I'm jealous that you could. You don't have to work tomorrow because I have to work. <laughs> Yeah, tomorrow, I always forget that Labor Day is a, is a holiday, just because, um, as a translator, you know, like, Japan doesn't really have, well, it sort of does nowadays, but it doesn't really have the same holidays, so I don't have work days off on those days. I think last Christmas I had to work even. That sucks. <laughs> um, so, like, my company, actually, we, we get a week off paid over Christmas, which oh. is pretty nice. So you have a Christmas break, like in school. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, we call it shutdown, because the shipyard shuts down for mm. a week. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I work at a call center, so they give some of us days off, but we kind of have to rotate. And so some people will need to be working on Christmas, and so, hopefully it won't have to be me. So you were in the, in the army, right, J64? Yeah, from uh, 2005 to 2009 is when I was active, and then I did another two years in the National Guard. Cool. Wow. So what are you up to now? Can you, are you allowed to say, or is it like, are you, do you work for special ops? No, after <laughs> I was in the National Guard, I, uh, I was done with the military, so I went to school, did some uh, programming, which I really didn't like, so I don't really do that anymore. Uh -huh. Some computer repair and some audio production to kind of help with the music and stuff that I do. So you got and, back into music, that's cool. Yep, and uh, once I was done with the school there, I came back here to Spokane, and the first job that I had when I came back was working at the county fair. That was just a temporary job. 
Next shot I had was working at a call center doing AT&T tech support. I got really sick for a while and lost my job there, and uh -huh. now I'm working at uh, Bank of America Merchant Services, also in a call center. Uh -huh. So you're like, uh, have you ever seen that show Workaholics? I have not. Oh, okay. Kind of, I can kind of picture you as a workaholic, one of those guys. <laughs> if you saw it, you'd be like, nope, that's not me, but yeah, they're call center guys. So hello everybody who's in the chat. Uh, we're doing Skype. It's a Skype experiment. Doing kind of bad in this battle, so I'm going to go back up to the, those Elixir guys. Oh yeah, back to Magic Pots. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to hang around there. They won't kill me. There we go. So an interesting thing that I just noticed was Mog has the Cursed Shield, and then he died, and I brought him back, and then he didn't have the status effect, so that could be a trick. Huh. What that is. Yeah, that's a good trick to know about. So right now I have the ribbon on him, but it doesn't seem to work properly, so I guess that was fixed here. So uh, do you guys, um, so J J64, uh, uh, I don't need to ask that if you've played this game, because you know, you've remixed all the music a lot. <laughs> um, well, how did you first play this game, Final Fantasy VI? Uh, I first played it when it was Final Fantasy III on the Super Nintendo. Did you get it when it came yeah. out? I played it as a rental first, <laughs> and I really liked it, so I asked for it for Christmas. I actually got it as a, one of my Santa gifts. <laughs> Santa, Santa knows the good games. It was kind of funny though because um, they got it used from like probably one of the local. <laughs> it was, and the instruction manual. There was a lipstick kiss mark on Mog, oh. so there was a that was retrieved from a rogue elf. Oh, okay. Okay, so back in That's here. Really weird, I have to say. <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I like the idea that Santa went and got a uh, used game for you. <laughs> and you got it with a smooch. That was like the best. <laughs> yes. Yeah, since then I've played uh, the different uh, re-releases. I played the uh, Final Fantasy what was it, anthology that came out on PlayStation. I was really frustrated by the load time, so I just turned it back in. Oh, that's too bad. The advanced version, which I played a bit, didn't actually beat though. Then when it came out on Android, I got that one, and I did beat that one. And although the character sprites are pretty dumb and everyone looks like they're walking with sticks up their butts, all the other graphics like the maps and the enemy sprites are all really well done. Yeah, they look real good. If there's anything, uh, those look real good. So what I'm trying to do here is, um, I don't know if it's with Locke, but uh, there's a new weapon in this hack and Depending on how many uh, successful steals you get, it makes the weapon stronger. So right now I have this go-go stealing, ho hoping that it will work. So if I can get 255 successful steals, his weapon will have 255 power. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm grinding that too. So we're talking with um, J64 and Besk. So if anybody in the chat has questions for has for them, um, Post it in the chat, or or use mind powers. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the, see if any questions come in. And of course, yeah. there is a bit of a delay. So. Yeah, there's a bit of a delay. The chat delay, it's something you have to calculate for when doing streams. I didn't realize it at first. There's like a, maybe like a 30... 40 second lag, I want to say? I don't, I don't know. I do know that it's different for everybody. I do know Belthasar had like a 15 second lag, and then and I think some other people have 40. Hmm. So you can kind of spoil when I defeat bosses, some people get spoiled. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't do that. I would, I, if you were being like a, like a really important boss and I was Skyping with you, I would not, I would wait till I saw it on my screen or something like that. Yeah. You because know? I'm watching the stream while I'm chatting with you too. <laughs> So so far this um, this is going pretty well. I thought I was I thought I would have more technical issues, but it's not so bad. And you guys are coming in pretty well. So J uh, J64, are you just like talking into your phone like a normal phone or something? Okay, so she learned holy. 
Yeah, I've got Skype loaded on my phone here, and it's basically operating like a speakerphone system. Okay. Oh, cool. So she learned holy. I have my headset on. That's so, good. So you wouldn't hear an echo. Yeah. Of the... That's cool. Seems like we all know how to Skype. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done Skype on my phone here, so this is my first time, and as far as I can tell, everything's working pretty well. So, Sounds like a success to me. Yeah, we're all learning here. So, J64, I don't want to, like, you don't have to say it if you don't want, but are you around our age? We're in our 30s. Are you in your 30s? Yeah, I actually mentioned it earlier in the chat. Okay. I turned 30 in January this year. Oh, wow. So, happy 30th, late 30th birthday. I'll give you 30 Thanks. tomato points. <laughs> <laughs> and um, 32 to you, Besk. Oh, thanks, Tomato. So, I don't know if you guys can uh, have Kool-Aid or not yet. I, I can redeem for a Kool-Aid <laughs> packet, but I'm going to save it up, honestly. I'm I haven't been enough. I don't know what these tomato points are for. <laughs> so, yeah, if you get 50 I tomato points, you can um, get a Kool-Aid packet. And uh, there's other things, like 100 will get you some other stuff. 500 you'll get a fan art on request. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to save up a thousand. A thousand? What was it? What do yeah. I I forget what I have for a thousand. <laughs> Maybe I'll like. Just, yeah, go ahead. I'll just take um, 20 tomato packets. <laughs> oh, crap. I'm going to like. <laughs> I'm going to empty the stores out of Kool Aid. Yes! <laughs> Tell me I want some Kool Aid packets. Like a lot. No, I'll just have this big sugar buzz and I'll be annoying in the chat or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to stream for about an hour, maybe a little less than an hour. Then I'm going to have um, lunch. I'm actually getting a little dizzy for some reason. I don't know why. So I just had some water. Maybe I should get some more food in me. So in, a, in like an hour I'll have lunch. And then I'll come back after lunch and stream for a lot more. And then I'll bring on a lot more people. Um, so for people who aren't going to be around too much longer, how, long, how available are you two? Are you guys? I'm here whenever. Okay. I've got the whole day off, and I've cool. actually got some vacation days, so I've got Monday through Wednesday off. Oh, cool. So, yeah, I took those days off, hoping that I could go to PAX, but as soon as they went on sale, I was at work, and they sold out like 15 minutes or something afterwards, yeah. so I didn't even just get some. It's insane. Yeah. Oh, so... Who in the chat um, can't hang around for too long? If there's anybody in the chat who can't hang around for too long, we'll bring them on. Oh, somebody should cosplay these guys. What are these guys? Oh, I fixed their name, you guys, to correct Magic Pot. <laughs> I spelled them with a J originally, in honor of J64. <laughs> Home all day. So how did you get into translating, Mado? So how did I get into translating? So it, it's really hard to say. Like I grew up in Hawaii when I was really little, so I can barely remember that. And I have, um, for whatever reason, I guess because of that, I had sort of like an interest in Asia and all of that growing up as a kid. I was just interested in that. And then, oh, Jeff Benson is online. Um, so for whatever reason, I was always interested in like just Asian stuff. And then randomly, like in high school, I was like, you know what, I'm going to like... I think I had looked at a Ninja Gaiden strategy guide and there was some kanji in it and I was like, I want to learn kanji. So I went and I started just self-studying and then um, Earthbound came out and for whatever reason I played Earthbound and I loved Earthbound so I was like, I want to play this in Japanese. And it, was, it would be many years until I uh, played it in Japanese but you know, I started teaching myself and then I went to, during summer breaks in high school I went to the local university and just uh, learned there. I don't know, just just a, a series of events, I guess. I think that's how it is for everybody. Like probably like you learning Russian, maybe I'm um, J64 getting into music. Yeah, the way that I originally got into music was um, well, originally I'd found like uh, old MIDI sequences online, and I thought it was cool that people could take the music from the games and recreate them like mm -hmm. that. Then I found out about like the modular music formats like the Scream Tracker 3 and Impulse Tracker where oh, they could man. actually take samples from the original games and make it sound exactly the same. And 
I thought that was pretty cool. Then I found out about the remixes where they would make it sound even better than the original games. And I'm like, I want to do that. And so eventually I started using uh, different samples that I collected from different uh, impulse tracker and scream tracker modules. Did that in uh, mod plug tracker when that came out. Eventually I found out about other more fancy programs like FL Studio and started using that one and that's what I've been using ever since. Okay, so you, do you still do the mod format stuff? Like or is it just level MP3 sort of thing now? I don't I don't know really how, how it works. Is it like sound like sound samples? Yeah. Um, it's kinda hard to describe, but um, basically the easy way to do it is uh, MIDI on its own is a series of commands that are interpreted to generate sounds. Is that why it's different on every system? Yeah, exactly. And then uh, modular formats, those have the instrument samples built in so that it will always sound the same no matter what mm. it's played on. So, and then in, yeah, go ahead. And then in FL Studio, um, basically that allows you to control what the MIDI output is controlling. So you can have like these virtual instruments and you can select all those instead of just having like a general MIDI sound bank. And those can get a lot more involved than what uh, like a general MIDI playback system would have. Okay, so she learned, um, I think this is the one where you can, it's called Osmos or something like that. I think she learned that. So, um, let's see, who else? So who can't hang around? Like if you can't hang around too long, I'll bring you in you guys. But don't lie, or you'll be um, you'll be shamed for the rest of your life. So shamed. Besk, Ooh, yeah. Wow. So um, Besk, you said you got into Russian stuff because your family, you know, there's Russian in your family. Yes. Um, so you've just started. Just, Go ahead. Uh, did I just start? No. Um, well, really, it kind of it's like I've got that background, but that's not really what got me into learning that. Um, I collect music, like weird music oh. and um one day um and i also like space stuff like stuff related to rockets <laughs> and whatnot um i'm a huge nerd for that so um then uh one day i was online and i was watching a video uh about the this rocket engine that's a thermal nuclear engine that the soviets were building back in the 80s and it had a really rocking soundtrack, and I was like, I've got to get this music because I mean it was really cool. And um, it's for the like the uh, the rocket name was let's see zero. I think it's the yeah it was the RD zero uh, four ten. I mean that probably doesn't mean anything to you, but um, <laughs> it's numbers and letters. <laughs> it's numbers and letters, but yeah, it was a thermal. Uh, it's a nuclear thermal rocket engine and the music was like this it was really good and i was like i've got to find this and i found um a couple torrents with russian music well soviet electronica in it and i've slowly built up my collection of 70s and 80s soviet records from for the past three three years so i have about like 200 records oh now. man <laughs> and uh it's pretty quirky, but the problem is, is I don't know what there's... It, the lyrics are hard to follow, because I don't know Russian, obviously. Mm. So, um, I kind of... I mean, I, but I like the music anyways, and the lyrics are pretty awesome anyways. But um, I, I want to learn the lyrics more, um, so I can understand... So I can under, have a better understanding of it, so I'm slowly learning Russian. It's, it's pretty slow going because they have you they have 33 letters in their alphabet that's, yeah that's right 26, so. <laughs> so but i mean cyrillic isn't that hard to understand once you understand what the letters mean there's only two letters that kind of trick me up but does it have backwards r's like toys yes, r us yeah <laughs> that, that's a yaw actually that's not a backwards r <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah it, it's got all these really weird letters um but I can transliterate it pretty good, and I can make out some words here and there. But I've got obviously I've got a long ways to go. So let's see. About 45 minutes, I'll go have lunch.